I got to do a workshop at the uh, folk festival with her, and I was singing, I was sitting right beside her, she was just over here, and I was singing Old Ida. Old Ida got to talking in the purple prairie evening, said the fireflies of memory are sparking once again. I was singing that song and I lost my place for a moment and Mimi just reached over we had talked before the workshop and it was warm she reached over and just put her hand on the small of my back and I almost instantly remembered the word so every time I sing that song when I reach that point where I got lost before I always think of Mimi Another time, uh, 1980, I think it was, I was sitting back uh, in the performance area behind the big stage under the trees there. And this uh, beautiful older woman sitting playing guitar left handed. And, uh, some people called her and I just sat down and listened to her and she started talking to me and uh, she said something funny she said she still got nervous you know about playing in front of people I think she was well into her 80s then old black woman and once anyway I just appreciated her friendliness and the fact that she was so easy to talk with. Uh, when she went on the stage a little while later, she was waiting to go on. She got on there and uh, she played a, a couple things. And then she started picking Freight Train, her song. And she started singing the first line. Freight Train, Freight Train, going so fast. And the audience just took over. And for the rest of the song, she just shook her head like this as she was playing the guitar part while the audience sang her song to her. They knew all the words. She tried singing a few times. She just kept shaking her head. She was overwhelmed by that. And she had tears streaming down the sides of her face. And that, and there was a... Uh, Thomas Van Zandt one morning the workshop, 10 o'clock one. I mean, I don't know. A lot of musicians don't know that there is a 10 a.m. <laughs> Towns was up there with his buckskin jacket on. And uh, it was pouring rain. There was some people had come out, but a lot stayed home. When the wind don't blow in Amaru, How's it go? 
something going on. And I'm alone above the gun, the sun don't rise. Mm-hmm. Oh, you love, babe. Snowing on her tone, saying, uh, Old Town. And uh, I just, just, it was a beautiful moment. I met him again a couple of years later when he came with Mickey, and they played at the Soft Rock Cafe, which I was kind of hooking up some performers for at the time. I uh, hung out a little bit backstage with Towns. Very unusual man. Uh, he played for, God, about two and a half hours non-stop, just about every song he knew. And people were still asking him to sing certain ones toward the end when uh, the owner of the place flicked the lights a little bit to let us know it was getting to that hour. And the Towns. On that workshop he did, Ben Ronk was on that one too. And Dave did a song, and then he said, I'd like to bring up somebody, a friend of mine. It was uh, David Massingale, who wasn't on the program. And uh, he came up and sang this song, with Dulcimer, if I remember right. Great American Dream. It's called The Great American Dream. I shouldn't even start with that, because there's so much to that song. But uh, it, that just blew us all away. That was so good. Pete Seeger, Dick Gawkin, uh, Leon Rosselson. A lot of people came through there. Uh, oh, I can't think of her name. Uh, the woman who sang a cappella, British woman. She was great, too. Oh, it'll come to me. And uh, all the jazz people I've seen live, too, because I did a jazz radio show for a long time. Lee Von Helm uh, played at the Commodore Ballroom. I stayed up interviewing him because I was editor of West Coast Music Magazine then. And Lee Von, he had a stipulation if I was going to do the interview that I had to bring some tequila and orange juice. So I did that. And we, we drank most of that together and talked. And then I figured out later that one of the tapes wasn't actually recording. It was just on play. But, uh, yeah, he talked about a lot of things, about where he grew up down in Arkansas, the time he spent with Dylan, of course, with the band, as they ended up being called. I've just been real lucky to play with all these, hang out with all these people, and play with some of them. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Tell me what train I'm on. It's late. I should go to bed. I just want to talk to you for a while for a change. Reflections, reminiscences. There you go.